Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about the IFTTT routines and show you how you can set some up to make your life a whole lot easier. Okay, so if you haven't already done so, you need to go to your app store and download the IFTTT app. If you're new to IFTTT, then you just need to sign up for a new account. It is free, so it's not something you're paying for. Once you complete the sign up process, then you want to start building some routines. Me myself already has some routine already built from over the years of using this service. So you can use it for smart home or non smart home. So that's the beauty of the IFTTT. So now let me go to the process of setting up one and show you how it's done. So for my alarm system, like I said, I have a routine where it disarm and arm the camera based on the mode that it switched to. But today I'm going to add one that actually turns off all the lights in case I left some lights on. So the first thing I want to do is go down to get more. And then right here where it says make a new applet from scratch, I want to click on that if this then that. Now I'm on the template where I can actually create that routine. So the first thing I want to do is click on this. It's going to come up and ask me to select a trigger service. My trigger service is going to be in my bulb security system. This is what I want the routine to check first. So we're going to find their bulb by typing it in. There it is. It popped up as the first one. Once I find that, I can click on it. Then now I have a list of things that I can do with the bulb system. So all of this stuff is a list that I can choose from. What I want to do is check for change mode. So I want to click on mode change. And then I want to select the mode that the system needs to be in to trigger the next thing. So therefore, I want to select if the system is in a way mode. Then I want to click continue. Then now I have to choose that. Now I need to find my light system. The light system I'm using is made by Philips Hue. So all I need to do is find U and there it is. So I choose that. Now I have a list of actions that I need to choose from under the Philips Hue. So what I want is lights off. So since I got lights off as the third selection, we're going to choose that one. Now we want to choose which lights going to hit the drop down menu and I want all the lights because you see I have all these lights I can choose from but I want all the lights to go off. So once we choose that we want to click continue and now that it's finished building that routine the only thing I have to do now is click finish. I can choose to have the notification sent to me if I want to but that's your choice. So then I can click finish and now that routine is completed and ready to run. So every time my alarm system is set to away mode it's going to just turn off all the lights. How will I know? I can just easily go into my U app and check to see if there's any lights on and off. So it's that simple on how you build a routine. Now I can go back to my page, check my bulb, and I should see that routine added to this list. As you can see, it's on top of the list. It says, if mode is changed to away, then turn off all. All mean lights. Okay, so now let's do one that's not related to smart home or smart home devices. This is just going to be a plain one that does a routine based on what condition is going on. So let's go back into get more. And this time we're going to base it on travel because, you know, we get a lot of travel alerts. You know, don't go to this country. Don't travel here. Don't go there. But you don't hear that kind of stuff until you watch the news or if you go to Facebook or Twitter and you see it on there. But what if there's a way to get a text messages every time something like that comes out? and it comes strictly from the Department of State. So let's set that up right now. So what we want to do is search for travel. That's the easy way to find it. Click search. Then this time we want to go over, instead of the connection, we want to go over to services. And then there it is, Department of State. So we're going to click on Department of State and they already have some pre-routines already created. So all you have to do is find the one that you like and choose it and connect it to your account. So the first one said they will send you an email if there's a travel warning. This one said it's going to send you a text. So that's the one that I want. I want the one that says text. And there's some other ones down there you can choose from too. But let's make it simple just choosing the one that says text. Now it's asking me to connect to this one to my account. So I'm going to click the connect button. So all I have to do now is enter my phone number. And this is only for national, it's not for international. So if you live outside the US, then this is not gonna do you any good. Then after I enter my phone number, it's gonna send a pin to my phone to let me enter that pin. And then once I enter that pin, now I'm signed up for travel alerts from the Department of State. So now if there's a warning, it's gonna come directly to my phone from the Department of State 
and I don't have to worry about trying to go to CNN or Fox or even Twitter or Facebook to get those alerts. So that's another thing you can do with IFTTT. It doesn't have to always be smart home related. It could be simple things like setting up alerts or having your phone automatically send a text message when you get to work. So that's just scratching the surface of what this thing can do. So download the app and go ahead and take it for a spin because you can use it even if you don't have smart home related stuff. So that's another thing you can add to your daily lifestyle to automate some things to make your life easier because we have so much things to do in a day and if the technology can help, let it help. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, go and leave it in the comments. If you're looking for a particular routine and you can't find it, leave it in the comment and I'll try to help you find it and probably help you set it up at the same time too. I wanna to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. If you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that bell icon. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.